Hello, my name is Paul Ruland, uh, also known as Polyester in the Plum community, and uh, I am here to show a little bit what uh, a Volto site can do for a film festival site, which is um, one of my hobbies um, is, uh, besides my day job, is organizing a film festival. And it's a very long running uh, film festival called the Rosa Filmdag. It's Amsterdam's LGBTQ plus film festival. And we've been running it for 26 years. And um, well, the website runs on Plone. It has run on various incarnations of Plone for a very long time, but it was time for something shiny and new. And that is obviously uh, a Volto site these days. So um, this is the site. Um, it's multilingual. It's Dutch and English. Uh, let's stay with the English for now. Um, as you can see, it has a front page. It's, it's not that complicated a site. It has um, a front page. Um, the film festival is just over. So now on the front page, we just have um, the after movie and the days that it happened. Um, but what was quite, what our most important part, of course, is our program. And for that, we used uh, basically a, a modified um, uh, content type. Uh, it's an event, but with some extra fields. And those extra fields make for a very nice slice and dice functionality. Um, let's go to the program. And you can see that we have 130 screenings, which is quite a bit uh, in 12 days um, and you can very easily um, select which ones you want to see either by going on a, a specific tag let's say you want um, a specific films on two-spirited we had actually a two-spirited film um, this year or you and you can say um, yeah I'm also inter interested in lesbian uh, and but you can also say just give me everything you can also say uh, the screening type let's say oh I'm really a big fan of short programs so you click on that and instantly you only get the short programs and you notice how fast this is uh, it's really nice if you unclick it then it goes back to the beginning you can also say well actually this is the only day that i can come so then you just get to see what's showing on that date um let's go on uh on a random showing and you can see here a lot of these extra data uh, the extra fields that we defined in the uh, content type um, because they are important to our visitors and to the uh, also the professional users of our site so of obviously the date the director the language that the movie is in uh, any tags that get onto it so this is um has both gay and queer content the classification you can uh, discuss that for in and it's also featured in our new perspectives um program uh the type so it's a feature film the running time it's important for people to know how long it's running so that they can plan when they're going to have dinner or coffee or drinks afterwards subtitles are obviously important um where it's showing uh which cinema and which screening room uh, the country where it was produced, the year it was produced, and a direct link to the ticket sales. So that's basically, yeah, you can search and you can slice and dice on almost all of these extra features. And then you can just, um, yeah, there's a short description. There is, in this case, we pre co-presented it with a science fiction and horror um, film festival here in Amsterdam that we like to cooperate with. So they presented an, uh, an introduction to this screening uh, and you have a trailer. And yeah, it looks quite nice. Um, and yeah, you can go back to that program. So we really try to 
yeah, because we have so many programs, so many screenings, um, films are the most important thing. So we really want to make that as user-friendly as possible. Um, and yeah, as for the dates, you can also say, well, actually I am available on a few different dates and then you get the whole overview. So you can then see all of what you want. And actually yeah, we're now reaching the end so you can go to the next. Um, for shorts, we have a, a slightly different uh, format. Uh, you have the same, the country, um, but usually that's diverse, um, the language, um, and you can see which shorts we are showing in this block. We had one from Iran, a really beautiful one, uh, from Spain, from the USA, from Egypt, um, Spain again, UK. So yeah, quite diverse. Um, what more can I tell you about this? Um, of course, some people also just like to see the PDF version. We also have an old fashioned paper version for people at the film festival itself, but it's also nice to have that um, full uh, PDF available within the sites that shows you all the information. You can download it from here. Um, and then, of course, yeah, we already started for next year. So we have uh, a forum that allows uh, directors to send us movies for next year already. Um, so and that gets emailed uh, and saved in a, a, a CSV file for us because CSV files are obviously easy to work with, but it's also nice that it can send out mail to uh, the person that sends it in. Obviously, you also need a footer um, in any uh, major site. It comes as no surprise. You need to show all the partners. You need to show um our history we want to show a little bit of that um you also so we did this a lot uh, according to a, a long story of our um storied um posters throughout the years that we hang out in in the city i'll scroll through this uh, and you can also have, um, yeah, it's it's just a very easy site to work with. I'll switch to Dutch to also show some of the queer movie talks that we had. Um, so you can have a really nice presentation of YouTube, um, our Vimeo or our, a few other uh, video sites that uh, streaming content comes from. Um, we only have this in the Dutch version because the talk shows were in Dutch. Um, so yeah, these were quite popular and they're still popular after the site. Um, so yeah, what difference did it make for us uh, compared to um, our older sites? Well, first of all, it's it looks a lot better. Uh, it's a lot easier to maintain. Uh, it's a lot quicker. Um, we deploy this on a very, very tiny um, virtual machine with actually no caching whatsoever in place. Um, and that works. It worked. It held up to about 20,000 visitors a day who all did quite some searching. Um, so whereas we used to have really... A, yeah, and, uh, let's say a standard one with uh, HA proxy and varnish. Um, this is just running on Docker's. Um, it has no, actually no um, uh, caching in place, but it's still lightning quick. So that was really nice. Um, we, yeah, we, we would really like to also uh, open source this content type if any other of the, uh, uh, any other film festivals want to use the, a similar uh, site um, because yeah, there's nothing, there's no secret sauce to it. Other film festivals have the same. You always want the director, the country of origin, the, the, uh, the year. That's universal across uh, all kinds of uh, film festivals. So we would be more than happy if other people start using it. Um, 
what more can I tell you? I can probably show you some. Oh, let's for our international viewers, let's switch to English again. Um, you can actually, of course, see the content types. So you can see what a screener looks like. Um, you can see it has blocks. It has well, most of you knows know what this is all about. Um, I would say, yeah, the the people were really happy with the website. Um, our visitors were very happy that they could find the information quite quickly. Um, they could find, uh, they could easily switch languages. They could easily find uh, all the things that they did want uh, to see. Um, they were more than happy with the speed, um, with how it performs on a phone. It's really nice to look at on a phone. Um, it's also, it's very workable on a phone. It's all, um, yeah, it scales really nice. Um, so I would, yeah, it's, it's been a, a success. Uh, it's been quick to deploy. Um, we have had, I would say nothing but positive comments on it. Um, yeah, let's see another one where you can say this is a documentary, um, which yeah has, which is in Khmer and subtitles in English. Um, Let's play this. Yeah. No, we'll, we'll, we'll spare you. You can look at that uh, at the website. Um, it, ob it obviously has like the, the usual social media uh, links. Um, and as said, it runs on a really, really tiny, actually the smallest um, virtual machine, more or less, that we could get in the Netherlands, um, which is like 10 euros a month, um, which also hosts a number of other um, stuff that we do. Um, so it doesn't, the, the website doesn't even eat up all of its resources. There's even also some internal stuff for the organizing committee um, on that same virtual machine and that works quite well. So yeah, it's to us, um, it's quite shiny and bright. It, um, ha yeah, it will probably serve us very well for the coming years. We plan to keep it, um, and just every year we'll have other, yeah, slight changes in the, in the colors and in the fonts, obviously. Um, and in the poster and in the marketing for that year. But we uh, do tend to keep this site now for a reasonable number of years so that we also uh, can, uh, yeah, can, can give um, the older, the previous years, uh, keep those, uh, take them out of the top line uh, navigation, of course, but they will, so that the older links will still work. Um, that's important because we also cooperate with a number of other film festivals and they like to visit the older sites because um, let's say at the end of 2023, there's a good chance that some other festivals in Australia or in um, Indonesia or in Korea uh, will want to use some of our material or show the same films. And uh, for the organizers of those film festivals, it's quite nice that they can Look at it. Um, yeah, we have well, whatever you expect. You have a new section um, where you can see the winners of our uh, various jury and audience awards. And yeah, it's it's just it's been really quick to maintain. It's been really good for non-technical uh, web people to uh, fill it with content. Um, and it's really fulfilled all our, yeah, or all our wishes uh, for a website. There's a few things that we still need to work on. Um, that's probably also because it was new to us this year to work with Balto. So there's a few things that I'm still struggling with. One of it is that uh, Volto and Plone helpfully 
very helpfully, uh, maybe overly helpfully uh, displays timing at uh, times in the time zone of the visitor. Uh, but that's confusing also. So I still, I will find out one day how to say like, okay, even if you visit from um, Brazil or um, Washington, um, you will see the times in Amsterdam time zone because otherwise people plan wrongly. So that's one of the things that we still need to uh, figure out, but I'm sure we will. Uh, and there's also, yeah, we, we still need maybe a bit nicer icon uh, on the ICS calendar formats. A lot of our visitors like to download a complete calendar um, and we could make that a little bit easier um, because yeah, then they can have it in their phones or whatever. Um, that's actually a request from our visitors uh, to have ICS uh, files um, for the whole festival. But it would be nice if you could um, maybe first do a selection on what you are interested in and then have uh, an, uh, a modified ICS file. So you could basically get your own um, personalized ICS file for all the um, non-binary features that you are interested in. Um, and then, yeah, so that's something to be do uh, that we will be looking at for, for the coming years, if we can uh, pre uh, prevent present people with their personalized ICS calendar files. That will be fun and useful and maybe also something that other festivals um, doesn't need to be film festivals, can be any kind of music, um, other festivals that could be probably useful. I think that is it more or less. Um, as said, we will be more than happy to open source uh, the content type. Um, it's not spectacular, uh, but maybe it will help other people. And if you want to know a little bit more on how it was developed, it was developed with the help of the lovely people from Kit Concepts, um, but in, co yeah, in close cooperation with us. Um, and if you want to know more, uh, contact me. I'm uh, polyester in all the usual channels in Community Clone Org or on Discord. And that is, I think, my short little presentation. And I wish all the viewers around the world, wherever you may be, a very happy uh, World Clone Day. <laughs>